okay. how do you make awesome content? Uh, Leah is an expert in that, I think, uh, because she's right? very well on steamit.com. And two days ago, I got a comment on one of my posts uh, from a user who said, and I quote, but I'm not interesting nor capable of creating valuable content, sad face slash wrist. <laughs> How sad. Okay. Yeah. I can honestly no. say that is a genius title. You, okay, here's what you do in that situation. I would love to read. Please, someone out there, please write this for me. Because I'm desperate to find writers right now. Like, desperate. I'm the most boring person in the world. And I want to hear everything. I want to hear details. What do you eat for breakfast? What kind of conversations do you have? Do you talk to people or do you talk to clerks? I mean, at, at the store, what is your interaction with uh, other individuals? Um, what hobbies do you have? Do you sleep for your hobby? I mean, I want to know details, details, details. <laughs> you know, it's funny. It's funny you say sleeping is a hobby. I taught English <laughs> in Japan for four years. Wait, Japan? Yeah. Yes. I, t I taught in Japan. That's how I learned about sleep as a hobby. Was oh, okay. Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where, where in Japan were you? Uh, I've lived there many different times. I, I was a teacher oh, wow. in Sasebo. Uh -huh. Sasebo na Nagasaki-ken. Yeah. Uh, Anakawa Nihongo o hanashite imasu ka? <laughs> Wakarimasu ka? Um, uh, mama. It's been a long time. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like, I hope there's Japanese. Ah, Nihonjin wa. Welcome to our talk, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I was there, I was there from 97 to 2001, and I was in Kansai. I was in Osaka, Kobe, and Kyoto. And that was a blast. Yeah, and, and for those who aren't familiar, like, every time I'd be like, like, it was a stock question with the student. What are your hobbies, you know? With beginning students, they'd be like, well, my hobby is sleeping. You know, watching TV, you know, it's like, oh my God, like, why it's a high stress. Boring? Oh my gosh. It's a high stress culture. Sleeping is like in a rare commodity. I get, yeah. It I is. I, I mean, did so you work, boring. did so you work boring. for a Japanese company <laughs> or what? Well, at, at first I worked for Nova. I don't know if you've heard of them. I, like, my brother, I my brother worked for Nova. I know exactly. Yeah, I was yeah. with Eon. Uh -huh. High I stress. High yeah. stress. I tried to call into work one day, <laughs> and sick, and they wouldn't allow. They said, we are not canceling your classes. You are coming into work. I said, I'm hungover. I, I'm, a, I'm insane. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got out of that, that whole fast food English thing as fast as I could. I, I went to yeah. work for Berlitz, and they, they sent me out to uh, universities and companies all over Kansai. It was so much fun. And I got paid to sit on the train on my way to the class. But it was so awesome. I got to teach uh, people who were uh, like nuclear submarine engineers mm -hmm. nice. at girls' universities. You know, uh, it was just so, it was awesome. Wow. Okay, moving lucky. right along. <laughs> where, where are we? <laughs> I don't know how pe if people would find our story. Well, you'd maybe be whatever. shocked. You'd be shocked. People love to know the little, like you said, the nitty gritty about uh, people's lives, the details. Yeah, but the thing is, there's so much content now on the site where it's just personal yeah. stories, and I like that has to run out at some point. It's running out. Yeah. yeah. It, we're we're. I think we're gonna start getting into. Uh, kind of sort of teams and conglomerates or companies or what ha whatever tribes, you want to call tribes. It. it's a tribal tribes. it's the attraction of the tribal attitude that i think the anarchist movement that was attracted over won't follow and will oh, they will. we will definitely uh, anarchists they, are some of the most tribal people i have met i, guess. I have shown anarchists <laughs> proof proof of corruption and scams and they've been like yeah but he's a good guy you know, <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. it, it, okay. it just everything just depends on one person's opinion, which can vary wildly. I'm probably an anarchist as well. I just basically I'm a, I'm label averse. I have my I'll probably get into some of this stuff, but I mean I I'm kind of eccentric in a lot of different ways. I I don't believe 
in bosses. I don't believe in hierarchies, actually. Right. And that makes me something right there. Yeah. Because basically in a hierarchy, I find that number one, I am immediately feeling antagonized by the person that is above me. I don't mm -hmm. like it. But I also don't like being the person telling others what to do. I'm an independent thinker. Right. And I just want to be left alone mostly. Right. And kind of help other people if they want help. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, about and, it. and those are the personality types that are at the site right now. Um, a lot of the intellectuals and the independents, those are who flock to the site right now. But once it starts getting more mainstream, and yeah. uh, I've talked about this with George, once the SJs start coming along, that's when you're really going to start looking. <laughs> yeah, right. No, that's not SJs, please. That's when you're going to start seeing loads of likes for cute puppies and kittens and, pe and pictures of their food. And, that, and those that are backs up. That happy. backs up the crossing the chasm thing. Right, the right. Crossing the chasm thing is about the early adopters are NTs. Right. Yeah. All three right. of us are right now on this show are NTs, and that, that's what it's about. The S types and the F types and that, they come later. Yeah, and but once they do come, uh, we're still going to be the content providers, or at least the quality content providers. Uh, but they're still going to get loads of money on their cute p uh, pictures of their kitties and puppies and food. It's hard to say, though. It's hard to say. I I'm I don't know that you're totally one hundred percent correct about that. Uh, I just it's I a just, guess. It's it, a, it's a, it is a heavy load of intuition after experiencing loads and loads of online communities develop. I found online communities across the board develop the same way with the same types of people coming in the same order. Um, it's, yeah. And it's, and it's just a matter of the way the social influence gets those people. Those guys don't want to have their lives interrupted and getting on to steam it is an interruption in their life to figure it out until they have somebody literally holding their hands and getting them on the site and using it, which there will be, uh, there will be a, a group that does that for those people. But when that happens, that's when um, the tribes as far as quality content versus the, the cuteness versus the food versus the uh, video watchers, the documentary watchers. I mean, we're going to really start getting into – so well, maybe, maybe maybe there'll be a new spinoff. Like we don't know. This thing is an organic melting right. pot of soup that they could they could just like something else could spin off. Like someone yeah, that doesn't so. want you know that stuff can say, "Hey, I can build a better website and bring my people with me." And I I see that coming too. And and maybe there'll be like a way. I think the content is going to have to be aggregated in such a way because even me i'm finding like so many various topics all thrown together and it's like a little like it's the beginning stages we're still in beta people forget that all the time we're in beta it's not even like <laughs> seventy five thousand beta but let's like let's get, let's get back to the okay. user right, right. who is you know patiently waiting you know slitting his wrist <laughs> you know, wow, yeah. it's not a joke like Man, okay, it's sorry, not a joke. But, but it's a I want to get that post. I want to see the post. I am the most boring person in the world. I want it. Okay, I'll upvote. But remember, but remember, if it's good, if it's remember, good I'll upvote it. Stories, the personal stories you said, Leah, are going out of style. So, yeah. How, how, you know, once we're done with all the personal stories and the time, you know, like that you drove drunk to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> What then? You what did then? read it. You yeah, did read that. I'm an INTJ. I do research. I come prepared. You know, I was a science writer. Here's my struggle right now. I was a science writer for interesting engineering. How do I recraft? I wrote every freaking day for three months for interesting engineering. I've got tons of science articles. Um, they will not allow me because they own my content. I cannot copy and paste that those articles that I wrote and researched. Mm. Some of these were talking, I did eight hours of research for some of these articles. I need to rewrite them. I said, repackage them. I, say just, I just yeah. say, 
utilize the platform of the blockchain, post them as is, make your money, and say, oh. fuck you, come after me. No, they paid her work for hire. That, 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 oh. that goes against, that's the thing, it goes against their rules. Okay, I thought they were arbitrarily just telling you you can't post your own work. No, they paid me. It was paid writing. Work it was for paid hire. writing. Freelance work for hire, right? Because, you know what? I don't know if anyone knows. Uh, Elon Musk has said that basically someone needs to be working on neural lace. And no one knows what that is. So basically he said, he said if there's a company, a legitimate, really good company that develops neural lace, I'll get behind it. Do you there's know a money maker is? right there. Neural lace. <laughs> yeah, do you is know that, neural lace? That- is that it's, like uh, uh, basically it would make the the uh, idea of cyborgs a reality and he's he's wanting to to go there well what aspect is neural lace in relation to ai and fusing with uh like, well is it right well right now it's basically he's on the camp where hey ai needs to be accessible to every person mm-hmm. we cannot have only a few very powerful companies owning developing and creating ai for themselves because basically there's going to be existing a huge chasm between the people that have ai who are you know in control of that technology and the people that are left behind which is the masses so he's all in favor of we all need access to artificial intelligence to enhance ourselves on a per human level where we have access to it that's his big push right now is like, because right now it's, that's not the case at all. Hmm. All right. So we, I think, I feel we veered off topic. <laughs> in, a, in a sense, what, what can the listener conclude here? You know, what's God, just be I mean, yourself, be you authentically yourself. You got to be interesting. You got to be interesting though. You got to be that. That's, I think this, 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 well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This, well, no, hold on. Okay. Hold on. This discussion okay. is interesting, you know. So I think you know, you it's not uh, you know, you got to abstract and see. But anyway, go ahead, Lee. Well, here's what I was gonna say. Advice, advice, advice. Okay. Here's the central problem with people not being curious about the world and having innate curiosity that they did as a child. I believe there's too many inputs with media. And basically, when you ingest tons of different media, even on Steemit, when you're reading articles, looking at videos, you forget who you are to a certain degree. You have now really, what you've done is, is um, you've blotted out your own creativity. And I'm not saying that I don't spend a lot of time ingesting information, but I split it up. I have to, to remain sane, which is I allow a significant amount of time to let my mind wander in wandering alone with no distractions. You find curious things and it's what children do all the time, but adults have forgotten how to do it. They've forgotten how to let their mind wander and then, okay, so your mind is wandering and then you basically, you come up naturally with some idea and what, you, what I do now is that if, it, if the idea f- unfolds naturally, like I'll get into one idea that unfolded, I grasp onto it. I, I say, you know what? This idea is the one I'm going to do because my mind is fascinated by it. And then I cultivate either an artwork, a story, a comment. A comment can be very well crafted and get money. One of my comments got $150. <laughs> Nice. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was upvoted by Dan the Man, though. So that's that's like, I didn't do it for that reason. It was a thirty dollars comment. I did the comment out of passion to help something happen. It's like right. a, it's a passionate thing, you know. It's like I feel passionate about helping this person or getting this idea across. I'm very passionate about this idea, and I will put everything I have behind it. That's part of this whole recipe. I think most people have lost their way. I think so. Because the, it, it, to, in order to refine your way, you've got to be kind of separated from 
the status quo relationships that have formed you. I, I mean, relationships are there to enhance, but when they start holding you back from developing your own unique self, then they become a detriment. I think a lot of people are still surrounded by comforts. Comforts can be a curse. Comforts nice. can stunt your growth. I believe that pain and the kind of looking for the lessons every day, questioning, learning, and acknowledging your own, your own weaknesses can be an enormous way to grow. You have, you know, <laughs> everyone has that chance every day. Well, I find all of that to be extremely insightful. I right. think any listener would find a lot there in, in what you just said, Leah. I'll, I'll just uh, share my, uh, my response quickly to him, and then we'll move on to our next question. But, uh, you know, I said to him, look, we all have a piece of the truth within us, you know, which is a Gandhi quote. And even if, even if you are not interesting and incapable of creating valuable content, that's just where you are now. You can change that at any moment by doing something interesting or learning about something new. Set a goal, choose a mission, and then chronicle the process. Uh, for example, in 1998, I was a history major teaching English in Japan. But in my spare time, I taught myself Unix systems administration. And by 2002, I was living full time from uh, sysadmin work. And I've wanted to be an author since 1991, but in 2013, I finally found the courage to try it. And after four years of full-time work, I now have six published works. So really anyone can make a change anytime. You know, the first step is just to make the decision to change. So let, let's jump to our third question, which is, how do you get a higher reputation? And Leah, you are the expert on this. 